Good morning, good morning. Uh, I just woke up um, thinking about how good God is. How he risen just for us. So I want to talk about the newness of, of God. So what all the old things that should be passed away. So God, what God wants us to do is focus on the new thing. The new things of life that he, he bringing forth. So don't worry about how people feel about you. It's 33 Bible verses about newness. Why, why does the Bible say about newness? It says, as you follow Christ, we must live outside ourselves and lose ourselves in the service to others. It was great Apostle Paul would Apostle Paul who said, Therefore if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things all things are become new. And to um the C O R um verse it's in two, chapter two, C O R, um, chapter five, verse seventeen. What the Spirit mean in the newness? Christ's resurrection, resurrect, guided us into the newness of life, which is life here and now, but with a new. I don't know how to pronounce this word. Hold on. It's a long word. Eschatological dimension. Eschatological life dimension. We example everything we need thinking and doing from a new perspective that take our present body our resur our restoration body and Christ body which is the church even more seriously even more seriously what do you enter into the newness it is God desire that you walk in blessings and not in the curse you must understand that you was created to rule you have a mandated to dimension the earth. God able, God is able to make all grace abundant toward you so that you will have all stuff in all things. What scriptures say about becoming new? And two, um, the, I just said, uh, two chronicles. Not not chronicle, but two uh, Corinthians. two Corinthians verse five seventeen Corinthians embrace fresh start in Jesus Christ with the word of um, therefore if anyone in Christ he is a new creature and the old have passed away and behold the new has come that's the first verse I start when God gives you a new beginning. The form things pass away and all things are made new. God doesn't remember our old past, our own past. He gives us a fresh start. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19 said, Forgotten the former thing and do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing in you. The new things mean in the Bible mean the word is used in 1,298 times in the Bible. God knew things were something that God had never done before. 
he was going to make a pass past the in the wilderness and the waters to spring forth in the desert. When the new thing often in our living old thing despair make sure I pronounce that word. Disappear. It disappear. The old the old thing disappear. Then have lived out their time. What is the example for the newness? Newness is a state of qual of being. Hold on, what that word? I want to mess up. Okay, just this word. Quality. The newness is stated or quality of being new, nor unused. When you are just starting a school for the first time. It feels disorganized and a and a bit confused. This is an example of newness, the prop preparing of being new. Property. The property of being being new. Novelty. The novelty, the newness of the of a car meaning it still had the funny smell the first smell what is the word of newness progresses reset this part consider up to date the date what is the meaning of the word newness? Define a newness is quality of being new to a possession of the old. Pos How do you pronounce this word? Opposite. Opposite of old. Newness is the opposite of old. Like he said, all of the old things have passed away. Everything to come be new. What is the symbol of walking in newness? Um, in this servant, Pastor something named um, David Zorts. David Zort, the person of God to put out the old self and to put newness by the Spirit through the Word and to put on the new self as God new creature in Christ Jesus. So you no, know, God was saying all this. You no, know, like I was saying in one of my video, I was saying like God was saying, as you was, as you was a child, you did childly thing. But when you come to be adult, you do adult thing. You put away all that childish stuff. Walking in newness. You can go to Ephesians four, chapter four, verse seventeen and twenty four. I'm not gonna read that, but uh, and then it said. What is the first step for the new beginning? Trust God, love, affection, your faith in Christ. Understand your new new faith, being with Christ, talking and listening to God, reading God's word, sharing your faith, living in your new family. How do we start a new beginning with God? The part below include in spiritual and marble quilt from willing knowing the Bible, teaching, preaching, Christians, walking in authority. The love, the love the Lord Jesus. Spend time with him. Feel on him in the word. Come to Christ in the word. Um Linger on the small portion and read the Bible with prayer. So I gave you enough to, okay, let me do the last one. Um, what does it mean to be new in Christ? And it said, in a Christian, we live it, living in a new time zone too. New creation meaning living as a new included Inclusive, inclusion, 
inclusive, inclusive community of God. New create mean living in the freedom of the spirit, reaching them interrupt interrupt and track by in track by um legalism legalism Lig it's spelled l e g a l i s a m legalism legalism i can't pronounce and the new creature meaning being recreated and transformed into the image of christ so god tell no you know, as we come in the newness we should act like christ we shall act like ourselves because we the body don't belong to us. When when God died on the cross and rose again on that third day, we should came to be newness of Him. We should act like Him. So all the old ways of being things doing wrong. When you when you know when you did know wrong, you don't know you ain't gonna be judged yet. But when you get to the knowledge of knowing what's right and what's wrong, you you gonna be judged by that. Cause God said, I gave you I gave you the mind to think. You know right before you do it. You know wrong before you do it. What scriptures say God is doing a newness, new thing? Isaiah 43, 19. The prophet Isaiah proclaimed in Isaiah 43, 19 that God would do a new thing in our living. Sometimes we cannot do ourselves. Those things would be impossible for me for man but possible to god it's possible for god what could this new thing be in our living in the veil of um collectively in co collectively it's spelled c-o-l-l-e-c-t-i-v-e-l-y collectively and his children When is the scripture to be rise in the newness of life? Jesus, just as Jesus was rising from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too must walk in the newness of, of life. Romans 6, 4. In our living here and now, we can begin to live or walk in Reconciliation and just and reject and just as Christ now live. What are the steps in the new beginning? Try new thing. Don't be afraid of failure. Take a take to um, strengthen. Talk and strength. Talk to now talk to a stranger, I'm sorry. Be well to change. Write a personal write a personal message and statement. Don't try to fit in. Don't confuse having a opinion with having a thought. Don't get hung up on perfect. So I just gave you a little bit to go on. Let me let me, let me uh, let me start this. It said this scripture say about a fresh start. God make a fresh start in me, shaping a gen gen uh, gen gen uh, gen uh, what is that word? I know. Hold on. Genesis. Genesis. Genesis wheat from the. Um, The chaos of our life. Don't throw me out with the trash or fall to breathe holiness in me. Bring me back from the <coughs> the um, gray. Give me one sec. The grace Isaiah. Put a fresh wind in my seal, seal, in my, um, sales 13. Sales, give me a job teaching and rebel your ways. Re give me a job to teach 
and rebel your ways so that loose can find their way home. The law can find their way home. So, God said we in the newness. When he died, we came to be in the newness. That's why when he gave me in his resurrection, he said, rise in newness. So he said, tell, he told me to tell the people they should be in their newness on the day that he passed and rose again on that third day. He said, you should came to be newness. All that old stuff, what you doing, need to stop. That drinking and they smoking, that gossiping, that moaning and complaining, that uh, um, that bed by letting the devil use you, uh, or come against each other in family. See, the devil's always try to break up marriage, relationship, sister, brothers, um, uh, cousins, um, uh, uh, um, uh, the um. People who close to you, that they he they always try to break you up. I would try to put before you can get a word out, they try to cut your throat. And you gotta be you no know, get person some people can explain stuff faster. Some people take time to be able to break down what they're trying to say. They then some words they can't pronounce, so they have to use another word to, to throw that word in. Then sometimes it, it brings another solution. So that's why God said be slow. To speak, don't be so fast to cut a person out when they're trying to explain what they're trying to say. Then it brings a confusion in between you. And that's why God said, be patient in, in everything that you do. Let me see what that scripture is. Because I want to make sure that I'm saying, saying it right. When God said, be slow to speak. It said in Jane one night Jane one nineteen in the beginning the second about controlling the tongue emotion from the good of all for explaining the part that okay it said know this my beloved brother let every person be quick to hear it be quick to hear it and slow to speak. Slow to anger. That's in John Jane one nineteen. He said, "Be." He said, "Every." He said, "Know this, my beloved brother. Let every person be quick, quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow of uh, anger, because if you don't you know, take your time and listen. You, you you sometimes you mess up what a person trying to explain to tell you." And then the other one said, um, the 20 verse said, for, from the anger of man does not produce the righteousness. Let's go to it. Every person who be quick to hear and slow to speak, slow to anger, for the anger of a man <coughs> does not produce the righteousness of God. God said, "No, that's not right to 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 um to do these things." So I'm just gave you that little bit. Uh, I hope that you receive what God said in the newness. So God said, "No, we got to put away our childish ways." And focus at being a duck to be able to be patient and listen. And even listen, be patient, listen to him. Because sometimes you pray, you get up. But you don't sit down long enough to hear what God has to tell you. You just jump up. How you want, you want You telling God something, but you're not waiting patient enough to listen to him what he has to tell you. You just pray and just get up. So God was saying, in this newness, it's time to just sit still. And listen to him. And you wonder why the next person is listening to him and going on up. When you when you qualify to do what God say do. And you would not sit there long enough to hear what he say do. So I pray that you receive what God told me to say to you. 
Jesus loves you, so do I. Be blessed and holy faith in Jesus Christ. Now I pray, amen, amen, amen.